up early. My watch is not yet. It's 636. We really don't need to be up this early, but Paige and Connor naturally do. So, now she's getting ready for surgery. Last November, when Paige had her first surgery, we realized that the best hairdo for her would be to just have two straight bra braids going down. It keeps her head from being um, sore after laying on it for hours, and it keeps her from being tangled. It doesn't hurt that she's pretty cute in it too. Baby is up early, so are little other little brothers. He's so happy. He's so happy. Paige really doesn't have much to do this morning to get ready. Um, she can't eat breakfast or drink much, so I'll probably wait until after she goes to eat breakfast myself. We did that last time too. Um, I got up really early before she did and ate, and then I didn't eat lunch until after she went back to surgery. It's really hard to go without food, especially as a little kid, so it kind of helps when nobody around you is eating much. Hey buddy, Cohen's so happy. Um, but she is, we are packing some clothes for the next day just in case she has to stay the night. Um, she shouldn't have to. They said it's only if they couldn't manage her pain, which I'm sure they'll be able to. Um, okay, well, we'll be done in just a moment. You guys fighting? Connor found the Go Fish game, and he wanted to play first thing now. So this is what happens every week except really they just start their day doing all kinds of activities. Um, anyway, so she, we packed her bag with some clothes, some hair stuff, tooth stuff, and she's taking her laptop with her epic books from school that she can listen to. That's pretty much it. I took her. Alright, Paige, what do you want to share about surgery day? I'm excited for my surgery. Um, it's going to be my second one. I'm not excited that dad is coming. I really wanted mom to come. But we have baby Cohen. It makes it harder for me to go if I've got to nurse him all day, huh? Boys were a little sad about Paige leaving for the day. They've been together <laughs> months on end. I mean, since March. So the only time she's been away is for physical therapy. So this is different for her to be gone all day. So to help, we took a picture of her and the boys together to remember each other throughout the day. Okay, Paige, what was your day like? Lots of staying in my room, meeting doctors. Uh, they had to prep you, huh? Anesthesiologists, nurses, and then your doctor. Yeah. Did you get all, I heard you got all your schoolwork done. Before surgery. I had my schoolwork done. There was only two. That sounds easy enough. Yeah. And then it was time. The nurse just wheeled you back. What'd they do then? They plug the machine into my mask. And then you just breathed in your mask, huh? Yeah. Were you nervous at all? No. Nope. You just knew to go to sleep? And what was it like when you woke up? Daddy was there. So you felt safe and good? Yeah. I wasn't in the same room as last time. Oh, it was different this time? Yeah. But still not too bad? Yep. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, well there's her arm. The doctor said that she had so much swelling that he didn't want to put a cast on her zit right now, which normally they would. So she's going to wear this for about 10 days. And well, you wear this for about 10 days and then we'll go in. She gets it taken off and then she'll get a cast, which she'll wear for six weeks. She has two pins in her hand right now to hold everything in place. And then they'll remove that later. But her wrist is in neutral and then there's the tendon that is gonna hold it in place. He did say that, you know, Paige's left wrist was pretty much down and if she could get it up, it would just, it wouldn't really go up and it would just kind of crunch her hand in so she couldn't relax her fingers. So this should hold it in neutral. And he said she has slight 10 degrees up and slight down. She won't have the full motion to go down, but if the hand even in this position to move back and forth, should be more functional for her. So that's the good news about Paige's surgery. So we'll just see how it goes. One other bit of good news that we learned about today is that there's a new resident doctor at the hospital that works with sh shoulders. And Paige is more rotated in with her shoulders, so they come forward like this instead of coming back. And that's her normal stance, which also means she walks more on the tiptoes because her weight is more shifted forward with her arms. Anyways, so we may go talk to this doctor, see if there's anything we can do to help her with her shoulders. Um, she used to do kinesio tape to help pull them back as a toddler, but then she developed a pretty bad allergy to the adhesive on it. He's a cute baby, even with a little bit of throw up on ya. So we had to stop that. We can do, we've been working on massage and relaxing the muscles, but it's only gotten so far. So, we'll see what happens. Are you ready to go to sleep? <gasps> Are you ready? Say night night everybody. Do you say it? Night night everybody. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna roll. He loves to roll.